it's great to see you. Bruce and I are back. Hi. Back from Scotland. <laughs> Hi. I back from uh, St. Andrews and taking Kimmy, our daughter, to to college, and it was this magical, amazing experience. And you know, we'll tell you more about that as as we go. But uh, we're if you're back. not familiar with St. Andrews, two things that Americans would know it from. One is the Chariots of Fire Beach, that is St. Andrews. And the other is uh, Will and Kate went there. Royals went there. <laughs> yeah, and you can see why. It is gorgeous, and it's really, it's beautiful, and it's ancient. It goes way back to even before 700 AD. I thought it was 700 AD. It was like 350 AD, so time of the Eastern Roman Empire. Yeah, so it's amazing. Lots of stories about that. Um, and the people were so nice in Scotland. That was what, one of the things that was most amazing. Very striking, consist consistently so. Yeah, just really warm. Well, so we came back and after a long flight, and when we got back, there was a box out in our uh, front door. And in the box were the books. These are the author copies that I had ordered just before we left. And so the author copies of the print book, um, The Adjacent Possible, as you see, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it says uh, not for resale. So it's, it's kind of interesting. They put this band on there, but it's like you can check out the book as the author to make sure everything's okay before you have them print it. Well, then it was, I think it was the day after that, the book showed up. <laughs> the actual the book. The actual book. <laughs> <laughs> the actual book. And it's it was thicker than I thought it would be. It's thicker than the artist journey bold strokes. Uh, but it's got that same kind of square format. And it's got that painting on the cover. This is the painting oh, back oh, behind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this painting right here behind Bruce? Okay, Bruce. And mm. and on the back. Um, so anyway, and it's got it, you know, it's it's easy to read. It's in terms of a little bit larger uh, typography, I believe. And anyway, I really love the way it's laid out. So, it, um, so there's that. We're so excited about the print book being here. Uh, the ebook is still available at ninety nine cents because we we just we were in Scotland. We didn't change anything, and you can still get that for ninety nine cents on Amazon. But the print book. I think it's 1797, something like that, which I love print books. I really love the kind of tangible feeling of a, of a book in my hands. It's up there now. So we would love for you to get your hands on a copy of either the print book or the ebook and read it and let us know what you think um, and leave a review on Amazon because it makes a huge difference in terms of visibility. If we don't have reviews on Amazon, it, it doesn't get shown. It starts to kind of lose visibility. The other thing you can do besides leaving a review is like other people's reviews. So that also helps bring visibility to the book. And the reason why this is important, whether it's the ebook <clears throat> or the, uh, the print book, is that we've got a mission behind this book and that is for the thir first 30 days, we're gonna take all revenue, 100%. And we are going to donate 100% of all revenue in the first 30 days, 100% to feeding America and community fridges, because we have a mission to make an impact and mediate food insecurity and hunger in this country. and our daughter, you know, has been heavily involved in that. Do you want to talk about that for a moment? Well, Thanks. yes. Um, so she started a, a high school project with community fridges where you get a dorm size fridge, put it out on the curb, put some food in there and whoever needs it comes by and takes it. And in time, we started to be amazed. Sometimes I would take conference calls in the car parked in the driveway and look in the rear view mirror and there'd be somebody every 15 minutes. Um, we don't live in a neighborhood where you think there's much food insecurity. It's, you know, it seems prosperous and well-kept and all that. And yet there were an amazing number of people coming along the street, not, not necessarily homeless either. We have a big homeless issue here. 
but um, a lot of elderly people would come along. Yes. And the community started pitching in. Restaurants and neighbors and grocery stores started coming by and dropping stuff off. And I think, you know, that made more people come. So it's way, uh, ebbed and flowed over time. But we, it's been quite a service to the community. And our, a neighbor offered to build an enclosure for this to make it look more legitimate. And that probably has helped too. It's nicely painted. It matches the house. Uh, it made a big difference. It made a big difference. And Kimmy painted the fridge. And we keep cleaning it. And we keep restocking the fridge with proteins like tuna and you know bread and cheese and fruits and vegetables. And canned foods and anything sometimes we'll even put clothing out there because we've got some shelving to the right of the fridge so this is a whole movement that we're getting behind and even going forward i think we're going to give a certain percentage of revenue after the first 30 days to these movements because this is a big kind of passion of ours to support and mediate and and make a difference one book one action at a time so anyway, I wanted to just invite you to get a book for yourself because as you know, in here, we've been talking about the adjacent possible. And so this is really about stepping into the unknown, one foot in the unknown, one foot in the unknown in your art, taking yourself there and moving past this kind of, this, this kind of thorny issue that comes up for artists of the tendency to not only emulate others, but all, and then moving past that, then, then starting to emulate oneself. And there's a story in the book about that. Yes, it's worth, the book is worth it just for the story. <laughs> yeah, so there's a story threaded through the book um, about an artist who was running into this perennial problem and get kind of like a path through that. We see the adjacent possible as a path through that. So as you know, we're all about the inner landscape of trusting yourself uh, so that you can start. And so then you can experiment and ultimately evolve your art. And I believe that that being an artist is about going deeper and deeper into cultivating your fullest self-expression and getting to that elusive, deepest art that you came here to create and that your heart yearns to create. So it's thank you. It's not just about exploration. The adjacent possible is more than creativity for creative creativity's sake. It's about incorporation. So I think of the Dutch, how they incorporate uh, new land into their land mass. So they don't just build a circle around uh, in the middle of the ocean and then put a bunch of dirt in the middle to make an island. They make little bump outs from their existing land. And so it's new land, but it's attached to the old. So continuing this metaphor of exploration, let's say you were wanted to go somewhere new and you had a magic machine that took you to one of the moons of Jupiter. And so you were suddenly there and yes, it's new, but it's also 300, de 300 degrees below zero and the atmosphere is liquid methane. So you can't survive there and you can't incorporate it. So it's not just something new, it's very particular kind of something new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you work with what you've got and, and then keep going to that edge and evolving at that edge of wherever you are and what's meaningful to you in your art. So anyway, this is what it's about. And we're going to go further. And we're, we're working on another book, which we've asked you all to be a part of if you would like. So think about that, too, about sending in your stories, your vignettes. And we'll keep talking about that. But for now... Let's get going on the adjacent possible. <laughs> We're so excited about this book and we'd love for you to get a copy, read it, leave us a review, uh, tell other people about it, be part of this movement and part of the adjacent as, as we called ourselves, as the artists called themselves at the live workshop we gave the adjacent. And, and let's, let's do this. So thanks so much. Hope this finds you well, and I, we're back, and we'll be in touch further, but uh, get yourself a copy of the book and let us know what you think, okay? Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> have a great day. All right. I'm going to have a great day. Thanks. Mm -hmm.